guys this right here is a 2017 Honda Velocer um, we had a problem with the window the window got stuck down in the down position and we had to remove the um, we had to remove the uh, window regulator so we pulled the window window regulator out already and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to record that portion but this will kind of kind of be the same I'll still walk you through how to take it out so we're gonna start with taking uh, the door panel off alright guys so the first thing you want to do is get you a uh, right angle pick right here you're gonna go down in the door handle where you grab it at to close it it's like a little flap in here you pop that flap up like that now under that flap is a Phillips head screw and turn it turn that screw out see that's the screw right there so you take that screw out just put it off to the side in this part right here where the door handle is that's the piece right here pops out so you just stick the right angle in and pull it this whole piece comes out there's a Phillips head behind this door handle. You take that out. Okay, this handle right here will come off. It's a little square hole in it right here. You're gonna stick your fishbone or your flathead screwdriver in it, pull up on it like this, and then work your way all the way up. this whole thing up just like that this portion right here you have three 10 millimeter screws one two three that's what holds this handle to the frame of the door so you're gonna take those out Don't worry about the ones here. That's just holding this frame to the uh, door panel. You're gonna start up here at the top of the door. You need some type of wedge, any type of wedge. I mean, you can use a screwdriver. You're gonna stick it in from the top right here. Push down in, pop the door loose. That's what you're doing. And you're gonna work your way all the way around until you get this door popped all the way off. Now, this piece right here, this piece comes off. So, you're gonna take your, uh, like that. That's all it does, it just pops out. Take that off. Now this whole door will come off. You pull, once you pop it loose, you pull up on it. So you're gonna pull it up. You're gonna hold it now in here you're gonna get you a you know you can get a screwdriver this part right here just pops out stick it in there just pop it out actually you can pull it from this way just pull it hold up That whole piece just pops off. Just put that down at the bottom. All right, so you have two connections here. You're gonna pull those loose. Just push the tab in. It's like a little tab right there. You push that in, pull it loose, and the whole thing come out. But this little tab right here, you push down on it, and that comes loose like that. Same thing with this, tabs down here at the bottom. Push on thing comes off you have one more down here and you do the same thing has a tab on it pull 
cool that off. So, you know, that's how you take the whole door panel off. I'm gonna show you a quick video on how to take this out. You have to get the window to this halfway point right here. But lower the window down to where this hole is. That's how you take the screw out of the window right here. It, ha it has to be right here. If the, if the, the regulator is broken and you can't raise it up and down, you're gonna have to force it to wherever you need it to be at. So once you get it there, you take, you take the two, um, two screws out to hold the window, then pull the window out. We're gonna go ahead and take this loose. All right, so we're gonna take this bolt out, 10 millimeter, and then it's one in here too, in this hole. Once you get those out, you gotta take this window out. So, you pull up on it, then you lean it towards you, towards me, and pull it all the way out. Pull the whole window out. All right, this part right here is where you're gonna remove this plastic piece. Um, without removing this plastic piece, you can't remove the regulator from the window. So you're gonna remove three Phillips head screws two screws are uh, on the left side of the plastic piece and the last screw will be at the bottom right and then you're just going to remove this piece it's only four 10 millimeter nuts that hold this regulator in here make sure that you disconnect the power from the motor right here it just has a push down tab right here pull it out that's out and you're going to take this off this one and then it's one down here at the bottom and then this one okay now remember you have to take this little plastic part out right here which is this because this will when you're trying to take the regulator out this is going to be in your way it's, it has three phillip head screws take that out pull this whole piece out all right so this is loose now I'm going to go ahead and take this whole thing out. So, the new window regulator came in. This is the new one. Let's see what it looks like. Sorry I don't have the old one. Um, I wanted to show you guys exactly what was wrong with the other one. The, i give you a little walkthrough on this one. You see this part right here? this the uh the cable actually came loose and got tangled all up in here and this is what controls the the window from going up and down okay when you buy this unit it's going to come all together it's going to have the motor on it already and it's going to have the bracket that holds the window and everything else now these tabs right here these are the tabs that's gonna go in this. This actually goes in the door this way, okay? And these fit in it just like that, like that. And then you, you bolt it in, see that? So that's how it sits in there. And it raises the window up and down. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in first. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this motor off and use the motor that we had. See, this is the old motor. You see, the connections are totally different. All right, so seven millimeters. And then a 12. 12 millimeter. And you just pull up on it. 
Just wiggle it softly. Get your other one. And it's gonna go in the same way. There it is. Okay. And we're only changing the motor because the motor that came with this one is not the right one. Don't do this so tight that you strip it. You want to run it down with a regular drive. Motor out towards you. So, you're going to stick it in there. This is the reason you had to take that box out right here. Because you need this room to drop this in. Alright. So, these two screws line up with this. Okay, so we're gonna put this in, stick it in there like that, and then the screw hole's gonna come in right here. So you got one right here, one right here, one here, and then the one down here at the bottom. See this? Put your screws on, put your nuts on. Make sure your connection will connect. That's connected. All right. Now we're going to put the window back in. Same process. It's raining out here, guys, so I got to be careful. Window goes in at an angle. Clear the, the rubber right here. Make sure you get it behind the rubber. Get it down in there and slide it towards you. Put the other one in, push it down in there. All right, make sure you hold the window tight. Go down in an angle. Now that back part back there, make sure that's in that slot. And then make sure that you push the window back. So now the window's in there, that's in. Now on this side over here, you're gonna drop the window down, push down on the window until you get that sitting back. So now that's holding the window in. Now you're gonna put the two 10 millimeters that hold the window in, back in. Like I said, you don't wanna use one of these. You wanna use a regular drive. <laughs> Because if you do it too tight, it could break it. You don't want to have another problem. Okay. That's good. All right, so the window's in. Now we have to do is put this plastic piece back in. has an arrow on it the arrows pointing this way that's how it goes in just like that get your three Phillip head put those in in to get this plastic off i just used the razor blade and cut into the um 
the adhesive and then I just it just pulled off you know I'm guessing because it's winter time it was easier to pull this off than it would be if it was summer but it did come off you have to take this bracket off right here because the plastic actually goes behind this You always want to make sure that the window works first. So we already got the motor plugged in. We're going to connect this in and we'll connect both of these two. Two at the top right here. And we're going to check to see if the window is actually working. There you go. There it is. So we're gonna let the window up. We don't need to be down anymore. All right. So I'm gonna unconnect all this, these connections. First thing you're gonna do is put this back on. Uh, the soft side, the soft velvet side goes towards the window. So it goes in like this and it doesn't snap in or anything like that it just lays there because when you put the panel in the panel hooks on this first then you snap everything together okay this right here uh, is for sound deadening uh, what we're gonna do and to keep water from out of it first thing you got to do is this part right here at the top it has a slit in it where this goes through it put that through then it has another slit down here which is for this connector right here it goes down at the bottom just like that, like that. And then you're just gonna stick it back in the same spot right there and just follow it across like that. Make sure you got everything through. And then that's where the two holes at for that bracket. Uh, right around this. So that's on, right? This is through, this is through. That's all you need to go through. Okay, now we're gonna put the bracket back on. Bracket goes here. Put this bracket on. Put this bracket all the way on first. All right. Go ahead and connect your wire harness down here at the bottom. Make sure it snaps. Then you go on to. Connect the two here, one right here, 
then one goes down at the bottom right there those are connected now this part see has these two metal bars right here one right here one right here you have to sit those bars inside this area right here and it just pushes in so you go in at an angle like this you got to put it behind these two uh, parts that stick out they go behind it like this and then all you do is push it in there you need to make sure the door works everything works so all it does is just snap down once it's in there you snap it down that's it all right now this part you grab the door you put it up on this ledge right here where this rubber is first hook it on there first like that it's hooked on once you get it hooked on you're gonna line up these uh push these push pins but they already lined up once you hook it on it should be in the right spot you just go ahead and knock them on go all the way around the whole door So that door is on 10 millimeters and your extension extension on just like this and they're gonna go in these holes right here that's one that's two and then three. That's three. That's it. All you do is just put it in there, right there, and snap it on. That's it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, the best way with this, you have to put it on up here first. Cause it has like these little ridges right here. It has to go behind those so you want to put it on there first lean it down hold it that's on there okay now you got two more screws these two right here one goes back here it's your Phillip head other one goes inside the door handle, down in here. Screw that all the way down. That's it. Now this part right here, all you do is just snap that back down. Push it, push it back, and snap it down. We got one more piece. This piece goes in here. You open the door handle. Put it in there, snap it down. That's it. You give everything a look over just to make sure you didn't forget anything. Make sure that the door is down tight all the way around. Make sure you put the filler pad in here, filler pad back here. The three uh, 10 mils that hold this on, make sure that's on there, that's on tight. And what you wanna do is test the window again. That's it. You got everything in. Window regulator and a 2017 Hyundai Velocir. One thing guys, make sure you always check in my descriptions. I have a lot of links in there. Um, the link on where to get this window regulator from. I'll make sure I try to see if I can find one that actually has that same connection. If not, you need to make sure you keep the motor, okay? But um, I have a link in there for that and um, it'll be from Amazon. And any other thing that's useful um, to this project, I'll have in there too. So if you like this video, give it a, give it a thumbs up, consider uh, subscribing and please, 
if you would like to please donate to the channel it just helps us out gets us tools and things like that to um, do better videos for you guys all right guys this is it JOATD and I'm out